guest today. But we have our guest with us, Rajat Rajgarya, the MD of Institutional Equities at Motilal Oswal, who joins in now. Rajat, hi. Uh, good morning. Uh, you know, it's very heartening to see that this earnings season has been much better than what was expected and much better than what we've seen in the last couple of quarters. But you tell us, how have you read into it and where have the stars emerged from this earnings? Good morning. But I think you rightly summed it well that this quarter is surely turning out to be a better quarter because post the disappointment that we saw in the December quarter numbers, I think first the estimates itself got moderated and secondly we have definitely seen some pickup in many segments of the economy. I think cement numbers this quarter were were good. Auto numbers, a lot of the auto numbers that have been coming have been good. Retail banks, NBFCs numbers have been good. You know, yesterday L and T was a was a was a blockbuster. You are seeing the reaction in the market today. So a lot of the numbers and more pertaining to India. You know, uh, uh, where things have been very slow for the last two three years, those numbers have started coming up coming up well. So I think excluding the corporate lenders, which is largely the PSU banks and couple of private sector banks, the rest of the aggregate numbers have looked much better than what estimates were there. Okay. Well, uh, uh, Rajat, morning. Thanks a lot for joining us. Well, uh, would, should there be a change in the uh, emphasis of the stocks you pick up? Until now, many of your funds were heavily based on brand companies as well as urban consumer oriented companies. Now, would you give a little more uh, space to the capital goods and the economy facing companies? Well, uh, 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 in our institutional equities strategy report that we wrote about a couple of months back, we did highlighted that we have to pick up companies where we think that the growth rates are turning for good. Many of these companies, while they may operate in the in the bottom up space or the mid cap space, they have lot of lot of room to grow. Within the large caps, I think the 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 dilemma has been more more severe where uh, 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 same set of companies which have been doing well continue to do well with the exception of maybe you know uh, uh, one company like an LNT which after some slowdown over the last couple of years has come back with a rebound otherwise I think in the large caps the story has not changed much but in the mid caps you are seeing many of the stories just turning around which are which is what is creating alpha in this market that is good you know that's the point i uh, also which i wanted to ask you uh, what is your earnings uh, uh, estimate now for uh, fi16 now that all the numbers are in and will you look to revise your fi17 earnings numbers uh, well data fi16 you know those last two three numbers of sbis and ongcs do change the aggregates meaningfully but I think fair to assume that FI16 we will end the year with a flat growth, flat Sensex EPS growth over FI15. And FI17 based on the all the numbers that have come till now, I think one, one should look forward to a upwards of 15% growth. Now this 15% growth is a combination of many of the companies continuing to grow at 10 to 12 and some of the companies rebounding well from their lows which is pushing up the aggregate growth rate. Okay, Rajat, you spoke in passing about LNT's good performance but just wanted a little more granular detail on what your expectation is from LNT going ahead and how much of a, uh, of a valuation uh, re-rating does LNT deserve post its numbers today? Well, uh, uh, I think the management gives so many specific inputs on their guidance that a lot of the investors typically uh, make their make their you know uh, numbers around those guidance. They have a 15% growth guidance for order intake, top line, and a better margin. I think more than that exact number, that trend, that the commentary where they ended FI16 on a very positive note and they are guiding very well for FI17. Look, somewhere there is a cyclicality in the numbers and in, 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 in the company's operations. And whenever you get these companies where they are turning from a less growth model to a higher growth model, valuations always for me are secondary. 
I always first look at whether these companies are next three year growth outlook is better than the last three year growth outlook. You have to be into the stock. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Rajat, uh, what, you know, we are very close to the 8,000 level itself. Uh, what is a kind of index gains you are expecting, say, 12 months down the line or in 2016 itself? Well, let us uh, 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 just put in perspective, 8,000 today is the same index as it was on 31st December 2015. Mm. And it is well 1,100 points below than the high that we made in the March 1st week of 2015. Exactly. Right? And the last 12 months of earnings growth has been almost zero. So, so if we think that the next 12 months of earnings growth is going to be 15% plus, fair to assume that you should have at least that much of growth coming into the market also. Okay. Well, the other space that you have been very bullish on is the uh, auto space where we've seen some solid numbers this quarter, whether it's from Bosch, whether it's from uh, you know Bajaj Auto, Hero Motors sales have been looking very good. What has your pick of the pack been and where do you see a mu much higher value now? Well, I think this is one space which is going to be a big sector weight for investors to make allocation to in the next five years. Last. 3-4 years many of these companies have done well when the overall economic environment was not so great and next 3-4 years you will see both volumes good margins and the best thing is almost every company in auto the balance sheet is almost at par with many of the best in class balance sheets that you have we have many of the companies which are coming from you know small caps transiting to mid caps and then transiting to large caps Ashok Leyland numbers yesterday looked fantastic. I think that, that that company still has long room to improve because we are still not seeing the best of the CV growth growth for us. We are still into the second year. This year monsoon, I think now we are seeing forecast just being up almost every month. And believe me, after two years of drought, it will do it will definitely do wonders to the volumes of some of the auto companies, right? And net net as commodity prices remain benign. I think higher volumes will lead to better better margins because of operating leverage. The whole pack in autos essentially focusing on the domestic operations should do quite well. Okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, Rajat, uh, you know, you spoke, you said that the mid-cap performance is heartening. Uh, can you tell out the pockets that have best impressed you? In fact, uh, if you can tell us the stocks that most impressed you. Well, uh, 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 if you look at NBFCs as a pair, uh, right from a, uh, and especially the auto NBFCs, you had names like Shriram, Mahindra Finance, all of them numbers beat estimates and analysts have raised their, raised their further growth estimates for FY17. I think we are very early into the growth phase of these companies. Look at some of the consumption models. You had companies like Crompton Consumer, Volta, all of them had fantastic quarter and we are still seeing trends turning out to be even better for them. You had companies like Arvind which reported a, a, a one of the better quarters over the last many quarters. Typically you can bracket the mid caps again around financials in the private space and uh, 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 things relating to consumption. As far as the rural play mid caps are concerned, I think we still have some time to see those growth rates which will come only in second half. One of the very important, uh, uh, this is not mid cap, mid cap, the market caps have become very large now. But I think if you look at stocks like Industry or and even Yes Bank, uh, 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 many of these companies are consistently growing at 25-30%. We just released a report on Yes Bank last week where we articulated how the market share gains are further going to grow for them in the years to come. So they are not mid caps anymore but they are still very important alpha stocks for people to own in their portfolio. Okay, uh, Rajat, we will uh, have to end this conversation on that note. But thank you for speaking about so many stocks and sectors that could benefit because of positive earnings. That's a very optimistic view coming in from uh, Motila Loswal. But the let's move on. Markets have gone on to 79, yes. 72. 79, is the traditional roof. Uh, we have to first uh, grow, go across 79, 80 yeah. and then see whether 8,000 is scaled at this point in time. 79, 80 itself is looking a little <coughs> comfortable.